Ames Middle School uh, is located at 1920 North uh, Hamlin in Chicago. Here we have this beautiful building with the beautiful community and great students and staff. However, we just learned that since two years ago, um, politics uh, are working very close with Chicago public schools, trying to steal the building. Parents started listening and hearing and getting information, rumors about this. Mr. Maldonado, the other man of the 26th war, he's dreaming to have in his war a military school. So he is thinking, why not Ains, without communicating, without talking, or without asking parents? We didn't want a military coup. I mean, we, we don't want something that our kids are not going to benefit from. I have nothing against the military. I have nothing against military schools. I just feel like their everyday norm is being a part of AIMS, a community, something that has so much to offer. We invite several times Alderman Maldonado to sit down and discuss this issue about his dream to convert AIMS community school into a military selective enrollment school. It was a meeting over a year ago that the, it was a community meeting and we invite him we reserve a seat from him, and he didn't attend. Our meeting it was more than half an hour, maybe an hour. He didn't show up. We call him. Well, we decide, since he is not here, probably he's busy. So we call him, and we call, when we call him to, in his office, he wasn't there. Hello, um, may I please speak to Mr. Maldonado? Maldonado is not in the office. Um, can I help you with something? Sure. Um, can you please leave him a message on behalf of Ames Middle School? Hold on a second, okay? Yes. Hello? Yes. Okay, I mean, I can take that a message. I probably won't see him until Monday. Do you guys want to come in and talk to him face to face? Um, no, we'll leave a message. Okay, what's your message? Um, so our message is that um, if he can, that he, we would like, Ames Middle School would like for him to drop his proposal for a military academy um, right. for the... Yeah. So if you can please let him know that um, the Logan Square School Facilities Council is uh, here at Ames. We yeah. do have Mr. Philip Hampton here with us and we um, are doing as much as possible as we need to do to get the message across so that Ames stays a community and neighborhood school and not a military school. I'm there's no, when we relay the message, there's none of your message is lost and that he, he exactly understands your position. Okay. We asked him to be there and he didn't attend. And it was not the last time that we invite him. In the, in the future, we invite other, to attend other meetings, and he never, never attend the meetings. So the parents, they agreed to survey the community surrounding Ames, including parents who are sending their children to Ames. Then we knock doors, we ask people face to face, and the results, it was 87 or more agree to keep Ames as a community school. We show those results. We put in paper. We present the results to him. We present the results to uh, Chicago Public School Board members. The community does not want this military component, uh, this military curriculum. We don't want any changes to Ames Middle School. We like it just the way it is. We. What, we, what I think as a parent is that if you're going to invest money into a school, invest it into programs to show me as a parent how can I help my child be more successful. We just learned that Alderman Maldonado called a meeting, but not at Ames. And nobody, nobody from Ames were invited to attend this meeting. We just find out. And the meeting was called far from Ames Middle School. It was in Humboldt Park. No one, 
No one from Ames was there because no one from Ames was invited. This, this place was filled with persons that have nothing invested in Ames. At some point, Christina Torres, the Logan Square School Community Council Chair, was at the front trying to explain him why he is not a, why he is not paying attention what the community is saying but he was very rude and he took out the microphone from her there was a public participation and when i went up to speak on behalf of Ames um i was rudely interrupted by Mr. Maldonado because uh, he stated that I, because I don't have children here at Ames, it doesn't matter, my opinion doesn't matter. So uh, I said, well, I am a community member, I also live in your ward, so I do have, if this school is going to be changed, I should, my voice should be heard. So that behavior shows that Mr. Maldonado doesn't care about Ames children's education. Just last week, on Tuesday, Mr. Uh, Ram Emanuel, uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel and Mr. Maldonado were over at uh, Marine Math and Science Academy. Um, again, something that Ames parents should have been invited to, um, to announce this big, wonderful change that's happening in one of the middle schools. Then, in October, we just find out that the major, uh, our mayor, Ram Emanuel, called a press conference meeting to talk about Ames, but the meeting was held at Marine Academy instead of have this meeting at Ames. However, none of the peer mentors from Ames were invited. When I went to the door, I was told that I couldn't go in because I wasn't on the invite, invitee list. So what we did is we sat out and we protested. Without invitation, we went. We tried to get into the, the meeting, but police officers from CPS ch checked the list and say, you are not invited in this meeting. We stay there and we march outside of the, of the building at Marine Academy protesting why we didn't get invited and why they are doing this announcement without the pa Ames parents all of these actions being being taken in and then we're not a part of it. We're, the doors are closing in front of our face. We have no say in anything. These secrets are killing us inside because we feel like we're not, we're not part of what, you know, what is important is the decision of what happens with Ames. So I feel like they, they, underestimate us. I feel like they disrespect us. I feel when they say that everything's going to be fine, that we will find a, a resolution for this, it's a smack in the face because later on they're going to go back on their word. They always do. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we are going to the Board of Education uh, meeting and uh, we are going to, we are organizing a press conference because we find out that it's in the uh, public agenda. Uh, Ames is in the agenda, McAuliffe and Calvin Park. Did you ever get clarification? No, they, they haven't told us, they haven't met with the parents, they haven't met with the students, they haven't even met with Ames community. So that's what we're here today to figure out what's gonna happen and why they haven't met with us as parents and also the, the community from Ames. Ames is a community school. Everybody's welcome there. Yeah, it's open doors. So that's why we want to get answers today and see what's going to happen today. So basically, CPS has really ruined any sense of trust that we have working with them. And we know our kids are being endangered by their policies, and we cannot stand here and let that happen. Alderman Maldonado is wanting a military school that nobody in the community wants. Everyone who was there at the meeting on Thursday was all in favor of against having military school at Ames and any changes at Calvin Park High School. After that, after the press conference, we are going to attend the board meeting at 1030 to testify on behalf of Ames Middle School because uh, we show lots of evidence through surveys to signatures and the latest, the referendum, uh, that the community wants to keep Ames as a community school 
However, we know that CPS is paying attention to the major and to the alderman. And the uh, dream is to have Ames converted into military school. Your responsibility as a board has to be to, to look after the well-being of this entire system um, and, and make sure that you're not making incremental decisions based on pressure or based on what looks, you know, what's googly and shiny and new um, that wind up taking the district in a, 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 a direction that, that's bad for the entire public school system. I mean, imagine Imelda Marcos, I think of you guys like that sometimes, um, with, with a shoe addiction. Right? But every, every new pair of shoes that she saw, she needed to have it for some particular reason that seemed good enough for her at the time. Don't become, don't, don't become Imelda Marcos, piddling away the trust of this system based on an addiction to, that you guys have to schools that, are, that seem like new options and that can be justified even if they're not just. We really don't know what is behind their plans, but we are thinking more and more since they are not paying attention of the results of the surveys and the results of those meetings that they didn't attend, we think that it's more like a favor that Alderman Maldonado on something on mayor or vice versa. It is a political game. This is not about children's education. It's more about political game.